Since 1997, we've been having a World's AIDS Day service every year. Uh, usually we have it in the parish hall and it's just a service, uh, but this year since they said that the Archdiocese would want it to have the Mass down here. It is celebrating the ones who have gone on. It's also to let the families know who have lost members that we care for them and whatever support we can give them, we will. Usually there's several of the clients that will be here tonight. Uh, sometimes they have spoken at some of the services and all, but, but they do really appreciate it. Their families appreciate it. church supports us too. Well, we do some fundraisers during the year, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, selling carnations and all to have fundraisers for, uh, to help sustain the ministry. We help get, provide clothing, food, uh, rides, trips to stores if they need to, whatever they call and tell us they need us to help them do. We keep in contact with them by visits, by cards, uh, and if they have any special needs, they they contact us. This is the parish AIDS quilt. We used to every year have to rent an AIDS quilt from the National AIDS Ministry, uh, but we had one of our parishioners, Janice Wernert, uh, who is very excellent in sewing, and we approached her, would she be interested in putting, helping make a quilt for, for our parish? So, um, and she said she would, so she made the basic quilt and then each of the clients or some of the deceased relatives of some of the deceased clients were asked if they would like to have some kind of a memento for their person on here. So some of them gave us the pictures and the quotations and dates and all that they would want there. Like this was my cousin who got it through a blood transfusion for in China. He worked for an oil drilling company there he was very involved with his dogs. He loved the beach. Sabrina was just one great loving person. She cooked the best food you could ever put in your mouth because I used to go there to eat. <laughs> really, I was supposed to be going to fill her soul, but she was filling my plate. <laughs> this is Sandy. She just passed away this year, and uh, I stay in touch with her fiance, who also is one of our members who has AIDS. To have our own quilt, it's, it's much different than having to get I guess an anonymous quilt that you really don't know any of the people on here, uh, but this is all people that have been served by this ministry. One of the clients that is kind of my wife and I, ours, and we have been taking, visiting him for several years now, and uh, he now considers us his second parents. His parents don't live as close to St. Philip's and to him as we do. So he now refers to us as his second parents and then he calls with different questions. He'll call and ask my wife uh, cooking directions for something new he's trying out and also uh, we've been in contact with him now for several years. Eddie, I've worked with him since 1997 and helped him by going to the grocery store, taking the Grady, uh, any, taking him food, making sure he had Christmas and his birthday. Same thing with Sandy and Sabrina. I'll help them celebrate the days that we just take for granted, which they don't. It's very, very special, very important, because we need to have people who are willing to reach out and help the ones who have HIV AIDS, to let them know we're there and we care and that they can call on us. And I wish we had more AIDS ministries. As I understand it, St. Phillips is one of the very few parishes that has an AIDS ministry in the diocese. I understand there really aren't that many. And uh, we got involved with this, I guess, about four years ago. And so we, we've been with it since then. Well, we're all God's children, and I don't think there should be any uh, stigma attached to them because they know they've got it. That's a horrible thing to know, to have to live with. And they are striving to keep on going. And so it's up to us to walk beside them to help them as they go down the journey. And two, with all the improvements in the AIDS medication, it's not a death sentence anymore. There's a lot of the people you don't even know they have it. Several of our members, just to see them, you would never know that they had AIDS or HIV AIDS, either one.